Hi, I'm Maddie from Austin Underground, and today I'm here with Ryan from State Champs. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, Around the World and Back came out in October, yep. and it was your second full-length album. Mm -hmm. It got tons of attention, number four on AP's top 10 essential records list, and number eight on Rock Sound's top 50 2015. How does it feel to be so well-received? Um, great. I mean, it, it feels really good. It was a... Uh... It was kind of a surprise to, to see so many people going crazy over it, but at the same time, it's like we spent a long time kind of like crafting it into, you know, what we thought was the best album that we could make. And, and uh, I'm really happy that people enjoy it. And it's been, it's been really well received, uh, at, at, you know, playing the new songs live as well. So, yeah, it's been awesome. Awesome. What was producing this one like? Was it similar or different from producing the last one? Yeah, it was, it was a little bit different because... I think we had a lot more say in it. Um, so you know, the the way that we we put it together was we would, we recorded some demos when we were writing them, and then we brought them into the studio and kind of like, um, somebody screaming outside. And I, sorry, it distracted me. <laughs> so so we recorded the demos and we brought them to the studio and we kind of just like spent so much time picking them apart, kind of rewriting the songs, restructuring them, working with with other people outside of the band to to kind of like you know, what do you think about this part? What do you think about this? And, you know, we got a lot of kind of constructive criticism as far as, um, you know, I don't think this is the best part or, you know, maybe this bridge could be the chorus or something like that. And so I think we spent a lot more time writing um, and kind of just crafting them into uh, better structured songs rather than just kind of like, oh, we, you know, we finished the song, like, let's just record it the way it is. And so, yeah, it was, it was, a, uh, we spent a lot more time kind of just making it, making sure that it was what we wanted to sound like. That's awesome. Okay, so before this album, you guys toured pretty heavily for about a year. Yeah. How does it feel to be back on the road? It, I mean, it feels good. It feels like we're never not on the road. So uh, it's kind of funny, like just like having two weeks off, you know, between tours, and you're just like, okay, time to kind of decompress. But you know, you're just gonna get back on the road. So like. We're just touring hard. We're, we're really trying to make it happen. You know, uh, we pride ourselves in our live show, and, and I think, like, people who have seen us on prior tours who maybe didn't know who we were beforehand are coming back out to these shows and are saying, you know, like, I, was re I really enjoyed seeing you guys live. That's why I came back. And so uh, being on the road, it's fun. Uh, we're out with Neck Deep, who are some of our best friends. So um, it's just really fun to not only play music with them every night, but just get to hang with them, like, every day. And... Uh, so yeah, this tour has been amazing. Sounds really cool. So you guys have been selling out shows like crazy with Neck Deep for the yeah. AP World Tour. Have there any, been any standout nights to you, like venues or awesome crowds? Yeah. Um, so Cleveland, Ohio, uh, we were originally supposed to be in a 500 cap room, and uh, I guess it sold out like within the first day or two, I think, which was, which was cool because we had been there before. Um, so we're like, okay, let's move it to the, the bigger room um, at the Agora. And uh, that eventually sold out 2,100 people, uh, which turned out to be the biggest room on this tour. And uh, one of the coolest nights, just, um, it just, it felt like everybody was, was really like in the moment, really, really enjoying it. And uh, that was definitely, I think, my standout night. Um, we did some fun stuff. We did confetti in, in Chicago and we'd never done that before. Um, and so that was like really, really fun. Um, there have been some like really wild shows too. Seattle, uh, I think they crammed like 800 people into a venue that was big enough for 350. Um, so that was actually a little bit scary. I, I just, people were going insane. There was no barrier. And so, uh, crowd surfers everywhere and I was just I was like afraid for the people in the front row just like getting kicked in the face and whatnot but uh, yeah I, this tour has just been great like all around I don't think there's been a single dud uh, and that's really rare so it's been awesome that's awesome so uh, also you've made your official acting debut in your web series sitcom shot guy or shot boys how has that been it's been fun it's been fun I actually made a joke about it last night we were all watching the Oscars and uh, I was I was just shocked that we never we didn't get a nomination. So uh, no, but it's been really fun. Uh, that was that was just like it was kind of supposed to be like promo for our our 
prior headliner last summer, uh, which was called the Shot Boys Tour. And we wanted to do something fun and different, and I said, well, why don't we just like do little like episodes, um, like Seinfeld type, just like silly, stupid episodes, and uh, people really enjoyed it, and and we enjoyed doing it. So uh, I want to keep doing that. We will. Uh, people keep like. People keep saying like, "When are you gonna do another episode?" and and uh, we will. So uh, I don't know when, but it's been it's been really fun. Awesome. Yeah. So after the AP World Tour, you're heading out with a day to remember and Parkway Drive. Are yeah. you guys super excited for that? Yeah, yeah, very excited. Um, so we we got the news when we were actually in Japan, and uh, just kind of came out of nowhere. It was like, "Hey, there's a." Uh, a data member wants you to, to to do this like little tour with them. I mean, it's only it's like three weeks, I think, and uh, it's kind of routed around some of the festivals that they're doing. Um, but we were just like really, really excited about it. Kind of like I said, it was very surprising. Kind of came out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, all of us have been a data member fans for a, for a long time, and I know their new record gets a a lot of plays in our in our van and our bandwagon and whatnot. So uh, I think it's gonna be a good time. I, we've never really met any of those guys, so. I'm excited to see what they're all about and, and have a good time on that tour. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Okay, so last, one of the best tracks off you guys' latest album, Secrets. Pulling off of that, what are some of the biggest secrets you can tell about your band members? <laughs> secrets about my band members, ooh. Without breaking up, of course. Like, we don't want to jeopardize sure, future sure, state champs. Sure. It's funny because I think. I would love to hear what everybody else kind of has to say. I'm trying to think. I wonder what secrets I have. I I think they would have a lot to say about me. Um, God, I'm I'm blowing this one. Secrets. I think I think everybody's pretty messy. Maybe that's. I don't know if that comes off as a shock. Uh, and it's not really that great of a secret. But this uh, the bandwagon that you walked onto today is like the cleanest it's been probably the entire tour. And uh, so you came on a good day. Usually there's like trash everywhere and people's bags all around and shoes and like smelly like show clothes and stuff that are always staying around. So uh, as far as me, I like to think of myself as pretty clean. Uh, everyone else pretty messy, but they would probably have something else to say about that, like my, my smelly feet or something. Right. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, probably, probably a mess. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. This has been awesome. We're going to see you guys tonight. I'm looking yep. forward to it. It's be Thank a good you so time. much for watching.